So it must be weird for you, working for the FBI. I don't know. It's always interesting to read from the other team's playbook. Early on in the process, I realized how important it was to get the details right. So I wanted to go out and find somebody who knew intimately how white collar crime worked. And so we found Tom Barden. I was with the FBI for a little over 21 years. I was a special agent for approximately 12 years in the New York office. Tom read an early copy of the script. He came back to me and said, look, here's where you got it right, here's where you got it wrong. I spoke about my experiences in white collar crime and gave him some examples of, of the cases that I worked and he asked me if I'd be interested in assisting him to, to, to share what it's like to be a white collar crime agent in, in the New York office. What's incredibly helpful to me is the reality is always better than something I can make up. I'm living proof if the feds want something from you, they'll turn your life inside out to get it. Jeff asked for different types of scenarios that, uh, that I saw in the FBI within white collar crime, and one of them was a boiler room operation that involves a number of brokers that are trying to sell non-existent stock to unsuspecting victims. Listen, our turnover rate is huge, high volume, high money. You make sales, you get paid. Let's do this. What's great about Tom is he elevates the show and elevates the show's credibility. And ultimately, that's what you see on screen. It's those moments where, as the audience, it just pushes the believability factor. You say, yeah, that could happen. And a lot of times, that's the difference between liking a show and loving a show. The Bureau doesn't forgive sins. What Tom told me is that the agents are always looking for the truth. And if you have the right moral compass, finding the truth can be easier. And I think Peter Burke has that good moral compass. I'm very, very proud to be a technical consultant for White Collar because I think it shows the American people that folks like Peter are out there. And each day they go off and they do their very best to protect the people of America. Thank you.